guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of trapezoids and kites. As we're looking at a trapezoid, we've got two sides that are parallel to each other, and we call those two sides our bases. So it's one across the top I'm going to call base 1, or just B sub 1, and across the bottom I'm going to call this base 2. So then as far as our area formula goes, if we're looking at a trapezoid, what we want to do is we want to do one half times the sum of those two bases times the height of our trapezoid. So in our trapezoid, the height is the vertical height that's perpendicular to the top base and the bottom base of our trapezoid. So taking a look at this example, our top base is 8 feet, our bottom base is 12 feet, and then our height is 10 feet. So if we're looking at our area formula, it says we're going to do 1 half times the sum of those two bases times the height of our trapezoid. So I'm going to fill in the numbers that we have. So we've got a half times the base across the top is 8, and the base across the bottom is 12, and we want to multiply that by the height, which is our 10 foot length. Now I'm going to take care of this addition first. So if we take 8 plus 12, we get 20. So we have a half times 20 times 10. Well, half of 20 is 10, so we have 10 times 10, which gives us an area of 100 feet squared, since we need to throw a label on the end. So our trapezoid has an area of 100 feet squared. If we're looking at finding the area of a kite, the two lengths that we're going to need are the lengths of the diagonals. So in our picture, the diagonals connect opposite vertices of our kite. So I'm going to call this long one, we'll call that one diagonal one, and our shorter diagonal we'll call diagonal two. So as far as finding the area of a kite, what we want to do is we want to take one half times the first diagonal, diagonal one, times our other diagonal, which is diagonal two. So one half times the first diagonal times the second diagonal. So in this example, we've got a kite, and let's say the diagonal going across horizontally is a 6 meter length, and then let's say our vertical length is a 12 meter length. As far as finding the area, we do 1 half times the first diagonal times the second diagonal. So if we fill in the values that we have, we've got a half times 6 times 12. Well, half times 6 is 3, and then if we take that 3 times our 12, we end up getting 36 meters squared as the area of this kite. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.